at the heart of a lot of the debate at the moment is a huge misconception, which is that we're confusing as a sector assessment with curriculum. So, and I would say at the heart of that problem is the fact that the last revision of the EYFS has very little to say about curriculum. It's uh, ha a word that hardly features anywhere. Whereas if you rewind the clock and look at curriculum guidance for foundation stage, curriculum was at the centre there. So what is this focus of curriculum about? It's about saying as settings, as schools, we've got to have a clear big picture of what it is we want children to learn in our nursery class, in our session for two-year-olds, in our baby room, in our reception class. We've got to have that big picture. Um, and that's down to us to develop um, because every community, every group of children, every group of practitioners, you know, has its own unique qualities and, and features. And the ELGs, that, that's an assessment tool that sits at the end of all of this. So the fact that shape, space and measure isn't in the early learning goals doesn't mean that we shouldn't have that in our minds all of the time when we're teaching children maths or we're giving them those experiences in maths. No, no one is saying that that isn't important anymore. But if you look at that old ELG for shape, space and measure, it's really complicated to assess. You have to assess children in you know, length, capacity, money, time. It's a lot of assessment work. So let's do two things. Let's reduce that assessment workload, but let's not just focus on can we get kids jumping through these ELG hoops and acting as if the ELGs are the curriculum. Let's provide children with a really broad and rich curriculum and let's keep assessment in its box, which is for, for, for the early learning goals, it's what you do as a snapshot of a child's learning at the end of the reception year. Don't let that control the reception year.